Robbie Crawford. Happy to be here, Jake. Man, you have been now here for a few months here at Wine 360. It's awesome. Love what is it. your favorite snack? Uh, we get these little Scooby snacks that, you know, it's, it's just like a... I feel like I don't know what a Scooby snack well, is. Well, they're, they're like graham cracker cookies oh, yes. that uh, yeah, yeah. we get, and they are phenomenal. Uh, yeah, what is the name of that? I can picture it. I like. I just. I yeah. can't remember the name of it. It's like a European thing. Yeah, I, the wafers. Uh, I know I what you're I talking about. It's when you when you ask someone from the UK what's like biscuits. Yeah, that's that, what. It that's is. about what it yeah, is. Yeah. Um, well, man, here we are. December Christmas season is in full swing. Absolutely. I don't know about you. I'm kind of Christmas partied out at the moment. I totally get it. Totally but it's just because it. I gain so much weight. You clearly do not. I I, I enjoy the people aspect of Christmas That's parties. Uh, I feel really slammed on coming up with more white elephant ideas. Okay. Right? Like, give me a themed white elephant, <laughs> yeah, and I'll yeah, go to yeah. as many Christmas parties as you want me to. See, and to me, I'm a Hallmark movie guy, so I wish this season could last even longer. That's but. That's, that's fair. me. That's fair. Um, really, what we want to kind of go back and forth with today is what the the thought of how to use this Christmas season, especially this kind of this interim from Christmas to New Year, as a reboot period. For sure, for sure, and it's it's a it's a beautiful season, right? Because we the the rhythm of life changes a yeah, little bit, and so people are getting out of school. We don't necessarily have a lot of events that we can really put mm -hmm. on because mm -hmm. you know like. No one's here. No one's here, yeah. So let's dive in. There's four things that we'll go yeah. through. The first one is make use of no meetings, right? Mm. Me, my philosophy of meetings is have as little as possible. Yeah. For one, they're really expensive on the business side. For so sure. when I put start putting a spreadsheet together and I'm like, okay, you have three people. They make, you know, in youth ministry, we make $10 every two weeks, you know, or yeah. something. Yeah. It still adds up really quick, yeah. right? Absolutely. So, but also, it's the tyranny of the meeting. So it's like I'm prepping for another meeting. There's days that go by that I feel like all I am in is meetings. For sure. And then my task sure. list gets really long. So I can use this moment now all of a sudden to breathe yeah. and almost have some space to dream and yeah. to rediscover my zeal in youth ministry in some areas. Absolutely. Because you're you're out of the the, the daily grind, right? That's right. And that, that extra space. Uh, another thing that I find really helpful to do in the Christmas season is to make some small touches uh, to your people. And so... Uh, I'm sorry. Every, Before every we time, talk about this, time. Every, like, the point really is make some small touches. And maybe it's the junior higher in me that I'm I like... I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Like, I worked with junior high for a long time, so I totally, totally... You gotta watch what you say, especially from the pulpit, right? Uh, get those little giggles moving through. Okay, so... But truly, so now, now some, look, you small be the connect, some small connections... Uh, with your people and it's it's reaching out and going that extra mile trying okay. to say hey I I know that everyone's talking about everyone's seeing their people they're going to these Christmas parties but just to reach out to the the youth worker you have that's struggling right uh, that's the good. one that's saying hey Christmas season I, I had a loved one that I lost during a Christmas season mm -hmm. and so I really struggled during here well we appreciate that you work with us year round, mm -hmm. and I want to I want to let you know that you're not alone in this Christmas mm -hmm. season. That's I'm good. here. I, I care about you as a person, and so those extra and even if it's not a Christmas card, if it's a text or a phone call, it, yeah. take it, take advantage of this special time we have. Everyone's a little touchy feely yeah. during the Christmas yeah, season. So, true. so I let's, am. I cry easily. Exactly. And let's get Hallmark movie. I would say Hallmark <laughs> movie. Yeah, catch you at the end of a, a Friday night where we know what you've been doing. You're yes. sitting and yeah, binge yeah, yeah. watching. Uh, it means which, more. Which leads into this maybe breathe during parties, right? Mm. Like you said something just a moment ago talking about the relational side of Christmas. That's yeah. what you enjoy. And I think making those small personal touches along the way leads into this breathe during parties. Mm. I think so often as a, as a youth pastor, I would I would want to run into a, to a party and make sure everything happened. And, yeah. But really, this is the time that in season you almost have back-to-back -back parties, staff Christmas party, youth Christmas party, parent Christmas party. Sunday school, Christmas party, you know, you're in all these things. Yeah. Why not just and enjoy community with one another? Yeah, because that white elephant gift exchange, it's whether you micromanage it or not, it's yeah. still going to happen, and it's yeah. still going to be great. And so take some time. Don't worry about the details yeah. uh, of executing the party. You've got people. And maybe pick one or two parties that yeah. you were like, hey, yeah. I'm, I'm responsible for these, but... Mm -hmm. Just attend the other yeah. parties. Imagine what it would feel like as a youth minister to event, attend a youth function mm -hmm. and just breathe. Yeah, that's good. Let me um, let me put something in your tool belt for this too. Why not go in with a question in mind? 
um, so often I feel in party mm-hmm. situations, especially meeting people for the first time or something, the first thing I go to is how's work, yeah. you know, or what do you do, right? Like, like our value is somehow caught up in what we do. Absolutely. What if we just asked the question, like, you know, we're youth workers together, I'm the volunteer, you, you're the youth pastor, and I just, and you come to me and you just say, hey, Jake, tell me what's going on in your life. Mm. Do you think I'd be like, oh, crud, fine? Like, because yeah. the standard question would be like, how's it going? I, yeah, how you uh, doing? Fine. You'd be like, whoa. So put that in your back pocket and Absolutely. just maybe ask that question. How's things in life going this season? That's a great, great Take us home, great Robbie. Uh, the last thing that I think can really help in this youth ministry reboot is it's the Christmas season. It, we've all tried to teach the Christmas story mm-hmm. about 80 different ways because yeah. every year it comes around and <laughs> you're either that youth pastor that your students know all right, well, they're going to they're gonna teach the exact same Christmas sermon the exact mm-hmm. same way. Or you're that youth pastor that's probably the young millennial that's looking at like, hey, you know what, I'm going to approach Christmas from... I, I, did a, I did a Christmas <laughs> story last year, and it was called this One Smelly Christmas. Um, all right, and I was all like, right. all right, this is going to really hook them. They're going to bring them in. <laughs> at the end of the day, it was the Christmas story. But I think we need to remind ourselves of why the Christmas season exists. It's That's not good. about the gifts. Yeah. And we, we preach it, but why don't we res- let it resonate with us That's for a good. little bit? Take some time. Take a Friday. Just mm. sit down and study the Christmas story for That's a little good. bit and be reminded of the beauty of it all. I mean, hey. God came down to earth. Like that's Gosh, that's, that's a amazing. big deal. It is. It really is. Man, thanks for hanging out. Absolutely. I, and thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. Uh, if you're Merry watching Christmas. online, know that uh, you can listen uh, via podcast, or you can read us too. Not read us, but you can yeah. read an article. Yeah. Uh, you can pass it on in, in different mediums. Thanks for what you do. It really matters, especially in this Christmas season. Know that your work is not in vain as you serve students and. Um, and families along the way. If there's anything that we here at YN360 can do to serve you, please reach out and let us know. We'll see you later.